So you've been making music and you're recording yourself, you're mixing, you're using a preset maybe, who knows? But you're noticing your S's are just a little too punchy. They're too s e, if you will. <laughs> it's kind of just an inevitable thing. Uh, sometimes our S's really peek through. <laughs> some things I can't help is just straight up backing away from the mic, but uh, if it's still bugging you a little bit, there's actually something called DSing. And if you guys don't know what DSing is, it D S's. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys three ways to uh, DS your voice and uh, get rid of those sharp S's. So I have this uh, this little throwaway that I just made. <laughs> I made it for the video, so I tried to say some S words in there. But uh, here we go. This is just the example song, fellas. Yeah, yeah, cause I know I'm running out of time. Cause I know that something I am mine. Yeah. Cause I'm worried that I'll never get you back again. I come along for the ride. Cause nowadays I feel like nothing even matter yet. Cause something's not, something's not right. Low basic, low sum. You know me. <laughs> but uh, I tried to go a little bit ham on the S's for the example. I use the Summers preset. It sounds very nice. If you guys are interested, I'll show you guys more about the preset later on. But we're going to focus on the DSing for now, okay? So keep your pants on. So as you can see, this uh, this preset is pretty jam-packed. So we can't really add any DSing onto this uh, onto this preset. So what do we do? We're going to link this track to a new track. And then we're going to get a whole new 10 slots to, to play with. To add more slots onto your track, all you really have to do is just highlight it just by clicking on it. And then you'll see on the master track, there's like this little circle thingy with an arrow on top highlight over it and click it so this will unlink it from the master and put it to any other track you want i'm going to put it to the track right beside it number four boom like so so now pretty much this will go all the way to here boom link to number four and then four will go to the master so now on track four we have all these other slots and whatever we put on track number four it's also going to apply to track number three i hope that makes sense if you guys aren't using a preset or whatever then you guys can skip that whole step so we're going to mute the beat real quick like so and uh so number one this is uh, a really basic way of doing it and i'm going to give some spoiler alerts my favorite way to do it is number three i think it's the most efficient way but i'm going to get to it okay so we're pretty much going to listen for the s so we're going to scroll wheel on uh band number six and then we're going to drag it all the way up and we're just gonna listen for it yeah yeah because i know i'm running out of time because i know that something I, I think right there is a pretty good uh pretty good place then we're gonna scroll wheel it out just to make it a little bit fatter yeah yeah because i know i'm running out of time because yeah, right i know we don't like that that's where that s is so we're just gonna drag that down okay yeah, cause I know I'm running out of time And just like that, a lot better The only issue with this is that it takes out all of the frequencies uh, where we dragged it down Other than that, it's a pretty good fix on how to, you know, get rid of those S's Literally just take them out The next method we're gonna do is using Maximus So Maximus is pretty swag as well They have a preset on there called DS or Narrowband This pretty much works the exact same way as the EQ Where it just takes out that frequency So uh, it has high, mid, and low right here on the side you can see and right up here as well and there's this thing called solo you can click on that and it solos out uh whatever one you're highlighted on so we pretty much want to listen for the mid because that's where we're going to drag down the s's so we're going to drag this in I know that's something I am And we just drag that down like so. We just we just kind of narrow in where the S's are. Here's without it. Yeah, yeah, cause I know I'm right. And then here's with it. Yeah, cause I know I'm right. Very subtle. It works. Once again, the only issue with that is it takes out all the frequencies. Now, uh, we're going to come up on number three now, okay? So this is actually a plugin. Uh, it's called the Dynamic DSer from Blinkit.shop. Dynamic DSers are the way. They're very swag. I'll drag it on for you guys right here. It's uh, it's really easy. You just drag it on like so. You pretty much got this plugin right here with two knobs. It's really really simple so i honestly really only think you really need to touch the reduction the tension is pretty much just how sticky it is but the reduction is pretty much how much DSing you want now the reason dynamic is way better than non-dynamic is because non-dynamic will take out all of the frequencies forever <laughs> you know what i mean and dynamic will only take out the frequency when it's needed so the good thing about dynamic DSers is pretty much that it'll take away the s but then it'll bring back the warmth after so it's not taking away all your warmth it's not taking away all the good sounds and stuff like that only taking away the s's when it absolutely has to and you can pretty much decide how much DSing you really need with this so for example it's stock we haven't touched anything this is what we got yeah because i know i'm running out of time because i know that's something i and then if we play with it off 
Yeah, yeah, cause I know I'm running out of time. Way more sharp on the on the S's and the T. You know what I mean? It's, it's a lot sharper. Cause I know there's something on. Let me play with it on. Cause I know there's something It's way softer. It's so much easier on your ears. You know what I mean? Rather than having like. It's like. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I know that didn't really make sense, but hopefully it made sense. But yeah, if we wanted to go crazy and like, I don't, I don't recommend doing this, okay? But if you, if you really needed to get those S's out of there, you could, uh, you could, you could take those out. So for example, yeah, cause I know I'm running yeah, out of time, cause I know there's something. You can hear it dip. So that's how you know it's working. Is uh, on full blast, it dips down. You know, I don't recommend doing it on full reduction, but honestly, halfway is good. But it, it, it's nice. You can do whatever you want. Once again, dynamic DSers are just better. The one I play at a shop is uh, not only probably the, the cheapest one you're gonna find that's this good, but it's also just super swag. It, it just works, I don't know. But regardless, use whichever one you guys wanna use. And just for fun, you know, I'll, uh, I'll rip the presets off as well. So you guys will hear what it sounds like with no mix at all. Uh, I use the Summers preset for this one. If you guys are interested in that, I'm linking down in the description. Also leave the link to the DSer as well in the description, but uh, this is everything with no effects on it. No presets, no nothing. Yeah, yeah cause I know I'm Then I am mine Cause I'm worried that I'll never get you back again I come along for the ride <laughs> it's, it's crazy And then one click of a button, I guess two with the de-esser Yeah, cause I know I'm running out of time Cause I know there's something I am mine yeah, if you found any value in this video, I definitely appreciate it. Subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Once again, all the links for everything are in the description. It's been your boy. I'm gonna catch it. Uh, Summoner, Rumina, Femina, Demina. Bye.